Beginning Monday, April 24th, the city of Fall River will begin the spring flushing of its water system. What we're doing is cleaning out any sediment or debris within the mains. So we're raising the velocity of the water and bringing that dirty water out of fire hydrant within the area. Make sure that the water quality that feeds to your house, your, the mains don't get built up with sediment uh, hanging on the bottom of those mains. Uh, that could cause, uh, you know, chronic rusty water as the city experienced years ago within the past. Um, but now that all of our mains are cement lined, uh, this helps bring any debris that's floating around in those mains out of it so that it doesn't end up coming into your house. Mr. Furlan says the city conducts the flushing operation twice a year, once in the spring and once in the fall. The program begins at the water plant on Stonehaven Road and runs along Bedford Street before branching out north and south across the city. There's about 2,500 hydrants throughout the city uh, and we rotate them annually. Uh, we do about 900, 600 to 900 on a semi-annual flushing. Uh, so within a couple of years, we get to all the hydrants throughout the city. Uh, but what we do, we pull up with the truck. Uh, we have a special attachment on the back of our truck attach that to the fire hydrant. We're able to turn the fire hydrant on almost full blast at that point to really pick up the velocity of the water within that main. Um, once we run that for a little while, uh, at least 10 minutes or until the water starts to come clear, uh, then we're able to turn the hydrant back down uh, to what we call a th three finger flow. Um, that's just a term that we use, all of our staff know it. Uh, it's a very small flow, come, makes the water come out and just about hit the curb line a foot in front of the hydrant. And we leave that water running for the rest of that day till the end of the shift. Um, that way, if there's any, you know, any other dirty water within that line that may have gotten stirred up during this uh, water system flushing, uh, it's able to come out of that hydrant and not go into the homes. During years of drought, the city does not take part in the flushing program, but when it does, all the water that flows is part of the maintenance of the system. It's not really wasting water, it's all accounted for water. So we have an electronic database where we keep uh, full records of the hydrants that's turned on, the amount of time that it's turned on, and we have our whole entire system calibrated so we know roughly the flow that's coming out of each hydrant per minute. Uh, so we're able to totally capture that volume of water and submit that uh, when we do our yearly evaluation to DEP. So again, it's not wasted water, it's something that's necessary for maintenance of our system. The flushing program will take place weekdays until June 3rd. Residents are not expected to lose any water service during the time of flushing. We're trying to do them about 8 o'clock in the morning to 3 o'clock in the afternoon, shut the hydrants off. Uh, so we're trying to get it in the morning where we're doing that hard flush, which may mix some things up in the main. Uh, there may be some minor discoloration of people, you know, of coming into their house if we're flushing uh, in their area. If you do get that minor discoloration, we always recommend just run your cold water until clear water comes out. Uh, once that happens, then you should be able to uh, continue normal operations within your house. But again, during this time, there may be, uh, there may be you know, discoloration, and that would be during the daytime period.